What's going on, everyone? Uh, my name is Stoops. If you don't know who I am, I'm a Western Lost Ark player. Um, you may have seen me on YouTube or Twitch or uh, just various videos of mine. I'm gonna have this video be translated in Korean for some of my or some of the Korean users or watchers that play Lost Ark, just because I think we all play the same game, and I'd like to include you in this conversation. So. Uh, just a little backstory about myself. I've been playing Lost Ark for about a year and a half now. I've played, or I play on Korea sometimes. I play on Russia. And uh, I also play in the US, or the Western version. And, um, you know, what actually got me into playing Lost Ark was the 2021 Winter Loa-on. That was really the... Um, what got me most excited about the game was seeing Gold River come on stage and talk about the game uh, and the passion that the developers have for the game. And uh, most importantly, coming from games like World of Warcraft, what got me most excited to play Lost Ark was the direct answers that they would have towards the community's concerns about the game. So Gold River would always take questions that may not have been the easiest questions, and he would talk about them. Regardless of his answer, I always loved that he would address the concerns that players had. And, um, you know, even when, when, when Lost Ark was coming out uh, in the West, there was an interview with like Amazon uh, that was on Twitch with Gold River at the time. And he said, ask me whatever you want. And they had asked about pay to win and all of these things. And he answered them. Now, you may not always like the answer that they have, but they, he, they wouldn't go, you know, he wouldn't avoid the question. He would directly address it. Uh, and I think that spoke volumes um, to uh, their care and their awareness of the issues that the game had. And I think that um, a lot of companies are always worried to talk about problems with their game because uh, they think if they talk about it, uh, it's going to cause issues and people are going to get angry. Uh, but I think a lot of video game players and MMORPG players, they're just looking for that in a company. Just the authenticness, the genuineness, um, the realness, they're looking for that in a developer. And I think Smilegate provided a lot of that. Now, with all of that being said, I really enjoy playing Lost Dark. The main reasons why is I love the raids. I personally really love the community. And most importantly... Um, the combat is so fun, but there are a lot of issues that I think the game has because the game is only about four years old, or give or take. And uh, when you're making a game uh, and it's a new MMORPG, it takes time to develop a wide plethora or a wide variety of content. And Lost Ark has been doing really well in the raid content where the raids are generally really fun. The classes are pretty fun to play, but there is some issues in the um, gatekeeping aspect for new players to get into the game. And on top of that, the daily routine has a lot to be desired. There are many ways to improve that. And I was looking, um, you know, to this past winter 2022 low on to address a lot of those issues because... I think that Lost Ark has all of these systems. You know, an example could be sailing content. An example could be islands. Uh, an example could be uh, storytelling content, fun mini games, uh, etc. There's so many ways for the game to uh, improve. Even the side activities like boss rush, cubes, chaos dungeons, and guardian raids, things that you're supposed to interact with on a daily or weekly basis, there's so many ways to improve upon those. And when you hear back at the last low on, the winter low on um, of 2021, uh, they talked about how they were going to focus more on the horizontal content to have things to do that weren't vertical, right? R raids. Because when you come in, when you came off of Vault In, Clown, uh, Vicus, Brashaza, all of those raids, it was a lot of, uh, sorry, it's noisy in my neighborhood. Uh, there was a lot of honing an item level to do that content. And I think the problem with Lost Ark and uh, the problem with Lost Ark is that it was focusing too much on those because they were successful, but they didn't 
they needed to also flesh out and create fun things to do outside of that. And when you really think about it, I, I was, when you really think about it, the last one alone, on, they said they were going to work on those things. Um, and they started doing it with the MOD and the islands, um, storytelling stuff that anyone could enjoy. But uh, with that, they were also releasing raids and, you know, Abyss Dungeons, Kyangle. Um, those things add to your daily routine for, the, for a player, uh, giving them more homework. And when you add in the side activities that are fun to do, when you really get into the game, you find that you don't have a lot of time to enjoy those things. And I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, well, you don't have to do all of these things. Um, you can do whatever you want. It's your choice. No one's making you do that. The problem with that is, is that the game is designed, right? They're, the, the game is designed for you to do those activities, right? It's, it, it creates an environment that makes you feel like you have to do that. And that's a design problem. That's not a player problem, right? If, if you want players to do those other activities, you need to make a system that allows them to feel like they can do that. There's a saying called FOMO in the West where it's like fear, like you have a fear that you have to do these things. And yes, that's you can choose whether you want to go into that or not, but it's also on the developers, the people that design the game to make it in a way that you don't feel that. And I feel like right now, Lost Ark, uh, you know, has so many ways to improve to make it feel like a more complete MMO. And I don't think the solution is just adding new classes, adding new raids. That's going to bring people into the game for a little bit. But the daily routine is something that you interact with every single day. And that's going to stick with you more than just the raid or the new class. They may come back for two weeks for a new class, but they're not going to stay when they find out their daily routine feels monotonous. And my biggest complaint about the game more than anything is that when a new player gets into the game, you may add in these new card systems. The card system is terrible, by the way. It's an awful system that alienates new players into the game. It takes too long to get them. And I think it's upsetting to me that Smilegate is so El Cheapo. We use the phrase El Cheapo. They're so cheap that they give out one selectable card pack. One sele You need 90 of them. You know, you need 90 of them to get Light of Salvation 30. Why do you give one, right? A good, successful, healthy game. And what made Lost Ark different at the start was that they did season two and everybody came in and they were at the same area, right? Everyone was in Punica. Everyone was close together. And then as the game progresses, you start separating yourself from new players. And these new players don't have a way to interact with people. And the solution is not giving them a 1490 Hyper Express because there's still so much to do after that. And on top of that, you're never going to have those 30 cards. And even if you don't have, even if you give them a new free noob, you know, Makoko card set that gives them damage, a uh, existing player, a Light of Salvation 30 player is going to see that card set and go, I don't want to play with you because even if you do the same, you have the same cards or they're close, why would I play with you? Because you're new. I, I don't want to waste my time I have homework to do. I need to finish these raids to get this gold because it is a lot of vertical. It's hard to progress your character. It's not easy. You need to have these characters if you want to do Bulldike or uh, you know Theamine or uh, you know Kazaros raid. You, you you need to progress your character to get there, and it's not easy to do. And in order to do that without spending money, you got to play the game, right? And so it, I think the solution to that is to get these people to play together, right, is not helping them go up an item level. It does help. But the real solution is including activities in the game that allow new players to interact with existing players, whether it be crafting, professions, new island events that come up that are rewarding for both people, 
right, where you go to an island and it actually gives you useful stuff, useful materials, but you don't care what their engravings are or what their cards are. It's just you need people there. You need to be surrounded by a lot of people. And by doing that, it may not seem cool to the existing player, but for a new player to feel like they have a, a use case, they're useful in the community, is a great way to keep players in the game, engaged in the game, rather than feeling disconnected from the game. Right? And so there's so many things like that. This is just an example, uh, I think, of good game design. There's so many things of that. And what upset me about this Winter Loan is not that Gold River isn't there anymore. Uh, he comes on stage for five minutes, like whatever, right? It's not that I don't like the three, you know, expertise, domination, and endurance, or crit swiftness, or, you know, specialty. It's not that I don't like those guys. It's that Gold River would approach these issues head on and talk about them. And these guys maybe are nervous to talk about them or the approach has changed, but that's what made Lost Ark popular. Coming from Maple Story and Lineage and all of these other games in Korea, Lost Ark felt different, right? And the community liked that. That's your biggest selling point. That's what makes Final Fantasy popular. That's what makes other games popular is when the people feel like the the, the people the directors care and you can't just say that we've been playing you know these guys said that we've been working on the game for 10 years and we everyone cares everyone cares okay show us that you care by addressing the concerns you can say all that all the, that you care all you want and i believe that you care but you can't be scared to talk about the issues that the game has and you need to focus on those issues rather than focusing on, on the other stuff okay you don't want to reduce the homework fine but talk about it instead of just being like, oh, that's bare minimum. Also, to me, it shows major disconnect in the game that you say it's the bare minimum because you're adding more to the bare minimum. You know, you're not making it. And then last thing that I want to say, just from a game design philosophy, and I don't want anyone to get upset with me. It doesn't make sense to do the exact same activity twice in a row. Right? Why do I go into a chaos dungeon, leave, go back again? I'm already in there. I'm already in the chaos dungeon. Why do I have to exit and then go back? Why do I have to fight, you know, Hanu two times or uh, Carl Elagos two times or um, what is that stupid tree's name? I can't remember his son of El two times. Just make Son of All 50% stronger and I do it once. Make chaos dungeons bigger more mobs and you do it one time, right? It's better design. Why do I leave and then go back, right? So these are the things that I want developers thinking about on the game that I'm playing, right? Thinking about, not you don't have to agree, but I want you to think about it and talk about your thoughts regarding that. Because if I'm thinking about it, there's no way that the people that get paid, which they're probably not getting paid a lot, I understand that, but the people that are getting paid don't think about it. So talk about it, right? Address these issues. Address the new player concerns. You want Lost Ark? Oh, and the last thing that I will say, as a Western player, we play the game a lot. Some of us play the game more than people in the KR version. We put in a lot of hours. And some of us now have been playing the game so much that we're almost caught up in hours. How many hours we've been playing the game we, a lot of us are very hardcore enthusiast players, okay? Um, to not spend five minutes to talk about the other versions of the game, don't sit up there and say it's a global game. How could you say it's a global game when you don't even spend five minutes talking about the global versions? Okay, and then all that you mentioned, it takes five minutes, just some word, like uh, just a word, guys. Uh, uh, this is just, uh, it's free marketing. It's free to just, just say, hey, we really appreciate you guys playing our game in the West. We're excited for the next year. Anything, you don't, I know it's a KR event, but you have subtitles for us to understand. And the one thing that you did translate correctly was, these rewards are only for KR players. You don't have to give us anything, but not acknowledging us is insane. It's bad marketing. It's not good. It's not a good look. It's going to make people upset. It's, you don't even have to say anything. Like, 
don't say that. Don't put the text on the screen that it's only for KR players. Just don't say anything. It's better than saying that. So, um, it's upsetting to me because why I started playing the game was because of that, the old approach that Smilegate had at Winter Level On. That's what got me uh, playing the game. Not this, not that. That was not, you know, great event. The music was amazing. I love Stormcaster. It was great seeing Gold River. The new content plans, I love it. I personally like the MOD. I like AOS. The MOBA Lost Ark, we need more of that because anyone can do that. And just because uh, like 90% of people won't do it because they don't want to and they don't care, doesn't mean it shouldn't be in the game for the 10% of people that are new to the game that have an opportunity to do something fun where they're not going to get gate kept, where they're not going to get pushed away because they're a Makoko, right? We need more of that, but you need to talk about the problems that people are, uh, are experiencing. Ignoring them, not a good look. And upsetting for me as a Western player to not be acknowledged at all during the presentation. Who's supposed to acknowledge us? Think about it this way. If you're a, a Korean viewer listening to this right now, think about it this way. We experience the same problems that you do. Probably worse. We have bots too, right? Insane amount of bots. But we experience the same homework, the same grind, the same honing. Everything is the same, but then we can't tell anybody to help us because Amazon publishes the game. They do marketing. Uh, they don't do design. They don't design the game. So how do we get our feedback heard? How do we know you're listening? How do we know that we're being heard on the topic? And how do we know that you even care if we don't acknowledge us? It's upsetting. It's upsetting. It's annoying. I've been here before with other games and I, I'm upset that uh, they did that there. Great show, production-wise, cool event, bad questions, and, uh, you know, bad approach to addressing player concerns. Wasn't good. So, just some feedback there. And uh, again, I love the game. I love the community. You can do better than that. Be more confident in, in, in talking about stuff, even if people don't agree. You should be confident in doing that. It's your game at the end of the day. And that's what made you guys successful, I think, in the first place. So anyway, that's the video. See you guys all in the next one. Peace.